Hey everyone, thank you so much for clicking on this movie review. The fact that you're willing to sacrifice a few minutes out of your day to consume my content really does mean the world to me. And today we're going to be talking about the new Indonesian Netflix film, The Heartbreak Club. So the movie's about an owner of a coffee shop and his business isn't doing too well and he's constantly suffering heartbreak and the only way he seems to be able to deal with his emotions is by listening to the music of Didi Kempo, who is a Indonesian singer. That is a rough breakdown of the movie. The film actually starts in a really sweet, cute way, and that's with Didi Kempo on screen. And he's giving a message to all of the musicians from his country, saying, look, local content, local music can make it onto an international stage. And he was just trying to encourage local audiences from his country and local musicians from his country, pursue your music, pursue your talents, because you can make it big. And that is something I really appreciate. As someone that's constantly trying to support local content creators and local musicians in my area, I love when larger, more established stars are saying, look, you can make it in your country by working to your country's strengths. And I really appreciated that. Keep your identity and pursue your identity. And I thought that was very, very, very sweet. But that was the highlight of the film for me. It very quickly goes downhill for me. Look, the movie, it's not a bad movie but it's definitely not memorable. The leading character has very little redeeming qualities. Even before his girlfriend breaks his heart, which is not technically a spoiler because that's what the whole film is marketed around. But even before he breaks his heart, he's already depressed and sad because nothing seems to be going his way. And that's it, that's his whole character. And that's the thing about majority of this film. Most of the characters are very two-dimensional and there isn't much progression. There isn't much character development. And so you're left watching the exact same characters make the exact same mistakes over and over again. And that's not very entertaining. As a romantic comedy, I think there was only one joke that really landed for me that I actually laughed at. So to be marketed as a romantic comedy and I laugh once throughout the whole film, to me that's also a bit of a disappointment. The film's strongest aspect and the scenes I really enjoyed the most were with the scenes with Didi Campo. And unfortunately, despite all the marketing that puts him front and center, he's barely in the film. In fact, I would say he's got a glorified cameo. That's it. He's in two scenes in the whole movie. And he's by far the most charismatic performer and he's so engaging to watch, but he's in such a small minority of the movie it doesn't actually warrant me watching the rest of the movie. It's not a good enough reason for me to get invested in this film. The actors as a whole did what they could with the script. I believe most of the performances were quite enjoyable, but their characters were so shallow. And so the actors weren't given much to work with. And I understand as it's hard for a performer to give an in-depth performance when their characters are written with so few layers. Again, another strength of this film, and I think it's a, I've been saying this every time I release a film that isn't from America, learning about new cultures is so incredibly exciting and engaging for me. And so I enjoyed that aspect of the film. But if I was someone who was living in Indonesia, would I have enjoyed the film just as much? If you take out Didi Kempo, I don't know what this film has that people are going to be able to enjoy. This film left a lot to be desired in my opinion. I found myself bored near the end. And ultimately the conclusion was so disappointing and it really hammered home the fact that there was literally no character development. Another thing I really liked about the film is that despite it being a romantic comedy, the guy doesn't get the girl at the end of the film. That was one thing that the movie did where I was like, ah, Okay, that's, that's something unique and interesting. But even then, the main character is so lackluster, by the end of the film, I wasn't even hoping for him to succeed because he makes the exact same mistakes. And ultimately, from the very beginning of the film, his coffee shop has been failing. And so many people have told him, wow, this coffee tastes really good. Why don't you market this coffee? And he just doesn't. And then at the end of the film, he goes to an investor and says, why don't you try this coffee? The same coffee that everyone's been saying he should market. And the investor says, well, why weren't you selling this coffee the first time around? So ultimately, everyone was telling him what he was doing wrong. And he continued to do the thing wrong. He didn't learn from his mistakes. And that's his entire character. 
people tell him, don't do this, don't do this, don't do this. And then he does it. I wouldn't say this is a bad film. So, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't say it's a good film. This is an incredibly average, mediocre film. Which is really disappointing to say because I'm someone that's really been enjoying its national releases lately. But guys, if you've watched this film, I would love to know what you think. Please comment down below, give me your opinion, and I'll definitely be responding to you guys. Thank you so much. If you haven't yet, please subscribe. It would mean the world to me. You guys are the best. <laughs>